This presentation is brought to you by Dart Corporation, a trusted Oracle eBusiness Suite partner since 1992. My name is Bob Brown. I am a practice director with Dart, and today's topic is maximizing performance with Oracle Advanced Pricing. Dart has four primary business lines consulting, managed services, academy, and ISICs. Within consulting, we provide traditional project and program management, functional, and technical consulting around the eBusiness Suite. Our managed services offering provides 24 by 7 functional and database support for your eBusiness Suite environment. Within Academy, we provide change management assistance, functional and technical training, and end user training, all again focused around the eBusiness Suite. And finally, ISICS is a patented software development product that we've created that provides an accelerator for interface and conversion development. Again, my name is Bob Brown. I'm a practice director with, Arc, with Dark. I've been with Dark just under six years. Uh, I've been with, working with the Oracle application since 1993. I've been a customer of Oracle, uh, a consultant, an Oracle employee, and I've been doing consulting for the past 15 years. So what we're going to do today is take a look at the Oracle Advanced Pricing Module and talk about some ways to address performance issues. The way we'll do that is to first provide a base level understanding of how the pricing engine actually works, what it actually does. We'll then take a look at recent functionality that's been made available by Oracle and in particular point out some information and support notes that should be looked at to help address any pricing performance issues you may have. We'll also talk about some basic setup considerations. Now here we're talking profile options and the like, not necessarily what you would do to your price list and modifiers. Talk about some tools that are made available uh, to help analyze any potential performance areas. And then we'll take a look at some very specific points within the pricing setup, how attributes are used, how price lists and modifiers are defined, and talk about some ways that that might be restructured to help your performance. And finally, we'll end with a few examples illustrating some of these concepts. First thing we need to do is get a basic understanding of what the pricing engine does. And probably the first thing to realize is that it is an engine. So what happens is when a pricing call is made, and pricing can be called from order management, from quoting, from purchasing, uh, or from contracts, a set of data is passed to the engine. So the first thing it wants to do is get a list price. The next thing it will do is determine what adjustments may need to be applied to that price for the specific line. And then it moves up to a level of looking at adjustments across all lines. It applies header level adjustments, etc. Specifically, what the engine does, and here is something that you really need to make note of. When a particular line is being priced, every pricing and qualifying attribute will be valued. So even though you may have five or six or seven lines on your order, every time one of those lines is priced, every enabled and used pricing and qualifying attribute will be evaluated. The next thing the engine must do is determine either the priceless lines or the modifier lines based on the step being performed. Now many people think that the first thing that the engine does is apply qualifiers, and that's a misnomer. The first thing it actually does is determine the list lines it's going to use. The criteria it can use at that time are pricing effective dates, whether or not the given list is active or inactive, the product hierarchy that's assigned on the item, remembering that you can specify pricing by item number at a category level or use all items. If there are pricing attributes or items or categories that are excluded from consideration, those can be applied at that time. And the reason is that those are treated as AND conditions. So again, the, the key takeaway here is to remember that the first thing the engine does is choose its list lines, and it does that using the attributes that we've shown here. So now that we have our list lines selected, now is when the qualifiers are applied. And again, as you know, these are the line level in the case of modifiers and header level for both modifiers and price lists, where you can define any number of AND or conditions uh, as appropriate. Once the lines and lists are chosen, the next thing that has to happen is eliminating line based on incompatibility rules. This is mostly applicable in modifiers where you may have more than one modifier line or discount as a common example that may be applied to a given line. Generally speaking, the application wants to apply only one of those, and it has two ways to do that, either by precedence or best price. Uh, in the terms of precedence, the lower number precedence wins. And the precedence for a given line is determined by looking at the lowest of the line precedence and the precedence assigned to any qualifiers that are attached to that line. 
The other option that the engine can use is what's called best price. And as you might expect, what happens with best price is each modifier's effect is determined and the one that gives the customer the best price is the one that will be chosen. So that's a quick flyby of what the engine does. Again, the main takeaways there are that list lines are selected first and then qualifiers are applied. The next thing we'll do now is look at some recent functionality and patches that have been, ama been made available from Oracle for the advanced pricing. The very first one, and this is probably the most important, is support note 435-426.1. Uh, if you're on app applications version 11.5.10, this is a patch, uh, a set of patches that were created specifically to address advanced pricing performance. So unlike many patches that uh, come with Oracle, this is not one of those that affects 15 other areas within the application. It's strictly with advanced pricing and it's strictly with regard to performance. So it does things to improve the pricing performance within sales orders, within price and availability, uh, when creating uh, quick sales orders, when calculating charges, etc. There's four patches that are recommended. The numbers are listed here in front of you. Again, the note will provide specific details on each of those packages. Essentially what the patches do are per improve performance. There are some slight functionality improvements, nothing that you would notice necessarily from how you set up the qualifiers or modifiers, but they're all really changes to improve the way the engine processes. Indexes are created, several views have been redefined to make the processing more efficient, uh, existing queries have been altered to make sure they take advantage of new uh, indexes and views that are available, and in general it, it's a significant performance increase. One client in particular that I've worked with was having issue with quotes. Any quotes that exceeded 50 lines would get into the minutes to price. When we applied the set of patches here as recommended by Oracle, pricing time for, an, for a quote of in excess of 50 lines was now reduced to seconds as opposed to minutes.